was positively identified from samples collected in the Limpopo province. The samples were jointly collected by scientists from the ARC Green Institute, the Northwest, the Northwest University. These were caterpillars that had to pupate and emerge as months before a positive identification could be done. The sheen months were collected on Friday, 3rd February from the northern parts of Gauteng and positive identified as fall army worm. Fall army worm is native to South and Central America and also occurs in the southern state of the USA. The first detection of fall army worm in Africa was notified in January 2016 when it was supported from Nigeria. From there it spread to several other West African countries and to Central Africa by April 2016. Media reports from Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Malawi indicated an outbreak of this pest during December 2016. DAF informed commodity and research organizations of a possible threat and encouraged producers to report suspicious pest, pest damages. The initial post possible pest reports which led to sample collection and positive identifications. The fall army worm is a strong flyer and could be distributed by prevailing winds over, li over large distances. The department realizes that transboundary pests and diseases, especially migratory pests, threaten food security and that co coordination regional efforts are important to address these risks. The department will therefore participate at the upcoming engagement hosted by the Food and Agricultural Organization, which, a, which claims to strengthen and align effort, efforts, strengthen controls of plant and animal pests and diseases. We will equally continue to our engagement with SADC to ensure early warnings of these biological threats are, are in place. The South African Emergency Plant Pest Response Plan is already in motion, which deals with new pest detections in South Africa. The actions implemented depend on the pest, the extent of the spread, and, ex and, 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 and the extent of the damage. Now that there is a, pos a positive identification, DAF will continue with assessment of spread and damage. Awareness actions to provide farmers with accurate technical information and control options. Pheromone traps will be imported into South Africa to determine the exact extent of the spread and the specific strain of FAW present in South Africa. Diagnostic support has been increased to deal with the bulk of the sample identification. As the fall army worm is a new pest to South Africa, no, pest, no pesticide was previously re registered to be used against it. A process of emergency registration of agricultural chemicals is ongoing with two active ingredients are already registered to be applied against this pest. As, we, as with all agricultural remedy applications, the label instructions must be followed in accordance to the supplier's recommendations. Having received the various reports of the incidents of the pest and having undertaken sample collection in Lipopo and Gauteng, the department will now undertake a more comprehensive survey to determine the spread of the pest. In parallel to this, damage assessment will be done and, as appropriate, the necessary actions undertaken to manage the pest. An awareness campaign has been rolled out to all provinces to provide technically correct information regarding the management of the pest. Extensive information on this pest is available from other parts of the world. We have identified specific research focus areas in South Africa that will allow for a deeper understanding of the behavior and biology of the pest. This will enable the, the improvement of relevant management and control strategies. The department has also initiated the Plant Pest Action Group, which consists of members from provincial departments of agriculture, researchers, several producers, associations, and industries, which may be affected by this pest. The group will meet regularly to, ev to evaluate progress and results. 
the presence of the pest will be notified on the International Plant Protection Conventions portal in terms of South Africa's international pest reporting obligations. SADC member countries will also be notified and regional control measures will be discussed. I appreciate the support already re received, expressed <coughs> sorry, from Green South Africa and South African national seed organizations, the ARC and the Northwest University to assist with the pest surveillance. I will be visiting some of the affected areas this coming Friday. Crop producers are encouraged to report suspected presence of this pest to the department. Thank you. Uh, the biology of this pest is, is well known in, in its outbreak areas in Mexico or where it's indigenous in Mexico and, and Brazil. No. Is it not on? Not on, on here? Yes, on now. Yes. The, 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 the biology of the pest is well known in its uh, native land in Mexico and Brazil and other parts of Central and Southern America. Um, this, this is a tropical species. It's a tropical armyworm. There's about um, uh, 30 species worldwide of about six, the six uh, species of Spodoptera in Africa. Um, we're used to the, the common African armyworm, and there's various other um, armyworms that, that uh, are crop pests here, but this is something new. As I say, it's, it's, um, it, it has a life cycle of about uh, 40 days, uh, 24 to 40 days, um, it's a it's a prodigious flyer, so it gets onto the prevailing winds and, and can migrate large distances. So it comes as no real surprise that it is it is encompassed or uh, covered vast areas of Africa very quickly indeed. The first reports we got were in January last year um, from Nigeria, and then uh, during April it had spread across the the uh, crop belt in in uh, northern Africa. And then we didn't hear about it for quite a few months. And then in December, it started to pop up again in, in uh, Zambia and Zimbabwe. And before we knew it, 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 it um, came down here very quickly on the winds. Uh, being a tropical species, like the normal African armyworm, uh, we're not sure whether it's going to overwinter here, whether it's going to persist, persist. It doesn't have a dormant stage, a diapause. So it has to continue uh, feeding and breeding so we, we, we presume that the, the cold winters on the high felt here will, will cause a disruption of that uh, breeding cycle. But we don't know what's going to happen in the, in the more tropical areas of, of southern Africa. And uh, this is something new to us. As I say, we know about the biology from overseas, but we know very little about it under su southern African conditions, which we've got to do a lot of work on. Um, tools including chemicals uh, in agriculture, pesticides that are used to control pests and diseases in this country, uh, in terms of the, the law, must be registered before they could be used. Now, since we heard about the outbreak of the, the, the worm, the department, together with the pesticide manufacturer, embarked on a process to have that uh, pest included amongst the, the pests that should be controlled by various uh, pesticides. Now, in this country, to get registrations of a pesticide, manufacturers are required to provide scientific data to prove that the product will work and also the product will be saved when it is consumed by the, the consumer. Likely, with respect to the worms that we are dealing with, we already have identified a number of tools, number of chemicals that are already registered among various crops that we are confident that um, if growers, farmers could use those products according to the level extraction, the, the product will be used safely 
to the extent that we are confident that um, the consumers would not be, the use of this product would not pose a risk to the, to the consumers. Currently, we have received a number of applications from the pesticide manufacturers and the process of getting those products registered is our goal. Okay, I think um, let's take a round of questions uh, from here, then we'll cross over to, to our Cape Town studio. Let's take five questions and then mix down our answer. Yeah. Okay. I think we only have one question. You can go ahead. Uh, how soon can the pesticide be in the hands of the farmer? <coughs> and what steps in the meantime to protect? The, the, the pesticides that have been identified um, are products that, in our view, uh, should be already with the cooperatives or in the farmer's store because those are products that are normally used that the farmers normally use to control various pests so we think that um, the the product that we have identified are products that are readily available to the to the growers Good afternoon. My name is Alexander Venture from the Tax News Agency. My question to the Minister Can you give the size of the affected area at present and your predictions in the coming months? And what crops are mostly affected? Maize or grain? And the second question is whether you will go to Harare for the power conference on the army room and what would you suggest there to do? What is your plan? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. What we have observed currently is that the pest has been attacking a sweet maize, so sweet corn, and other maize that is planted for seeds. The extent of the spread has not yet been identified, as we said or quantified, you are still working around the clock, except to say that the, the, the identified provinces are the areas in which it has been picked. We will not be able, therefore, to quantify the extent, as we believe that an active action, as explained by Mr. Matsunga, is to make sure that, where possible, pesticides that have been identified to work, they are there are prescriptions being followed, taking into account safety to humans or to consumption taken into account, we will be able to overpower or overcome the problem, especially with the shown assistance or, or participation of different stakeholders, as have been mentioned in the statement. As to whether we will attend the meeting at Harari, yes, we are planning, we will be, be attending the meeting as a department. Our aim, as we have shown in our statement, is what is needed more within our continent is the exchange of information, the way we can be able to work together, not only to identify, but be able, whenever such uh, 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 a disaster-causing worms are detected, we are able to share information. We don't wait until they strike us. I think this is a lesson we have picked as we are saying that Having to attend that meeting is to achieve that that example that no country should be an island. All of us must be engaged because the impact will be devastating, not only to South Africa but for the whole continent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Pan. I'm representing the SABC. Mr. Matunga, you. I, I want to phrase it in the manner that will not cause problems. But you seem not to be sure that the 
what you describe as control measures have ever been tested anywhere <coughs> against the, this uh, very best. Uh, are you saying that what you have right now in store will be in, in a position to deal with the problem we are faced with? Thank you. Lori from the Citizen. Just a quick one. You mentioned that the paste was found in Kalping and Limpopo. Can you please specify where in Kalping and Limpopo? Thank you. Jan Henry, can you handle the last question? Okay. Um, the space has been detected in several areas in the Bobo, as you know of. Um, the Vigo area, for instance, has um, marked upon a pass down to the center. It's also more for the um, social sponsor of the center. Sinai area, as well as uh, south to from um, the Fugu down to Letsitele, um, Tani Letsitele areas. Then the Gauteng area is a, is a new area, as we said, we only picked up on that on Friday. Um, and that is the northern Gauteng area, close to close to Bonaport. When, um, in, 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 in terms of the, yes, that's one. Let me first indicate that um, currently um, the, the, the tools that are available have not been tested against that the army worm that we are referring to. Now, what we, we, we have done is to identify um, worms that, that are normally controlled, which we think that um, the the pesticides that we have identified should be able to work against the animal. So that's, that's the, the process that we have, we have embarked on at this stage. Yeah, you said that uh, the pest comes from Brazil and Mexico. Have you already contacted your colleagues in those countries? Because they might have had the necessary pesticide as it's a tropical one that's from them. Have you already contacted them? Um, no, we haven't. But uh, there's, there's, um, there, in the literature, there's various pesticides that have been used in Mexico and Brazil, and some of those are compatible here. Um, there's various uh, um, biocontrol methods used in in those countries because the pest there is more sedentary. It's it's a it's a continuous problem in the maize fields. For instance, in Brazil. Uh, it's the estimated losses are over six hundred million dollars a year, so it's a, it's a constant problem there. Whereas um, here we're getting this migratory flush of insects through. Um, the current um, pesticides that are registered, or the current <coughs> remedies that are registered on maize for for um, stalk borers and, and um, uh, various defoliating caterpillars, are the ones that are going to be advised to be used until more information is available. From the NCA. Minister, just to simplify uh, what you're telling us and not to cause panic, obviously, to like, South Africans, um, what is your message with regard to you know, consumption of maize? I mean, should, should South Africans be afraid of the fact that there are going to be some sort of pesticides that are going to you know, be uh, used to fight this pest? And also, just tell us about your, your visit on Friday. What are you hoping to achieve with regard to this visit and exactly where? will you be going? Um, and just to go back to my colleague's question, I mean, I know that you said you are yet to quantify just the extent of, of the damage and, and just how widespread this pest is. But um, with the Limpopo farms, I mean, you've given us a couple of names. Um, just how many you know, tons of, of, of names have, have really been wiped out, if I had to put it that way, in those places? Thanks. Thanks. I can assure South Africans that even if 
this variety of chemicals will be used. As we have said, we will be guided by the descriptions of the manufacturer to ensure that no residue thereof can harm human beings. The control, therefore, is there to make sure that farmers will be uh, trained or, or, or informed of quantities to be used and in the manner prescribed. Therefore, nobody should panic that because pesticide will be used, therefore, and we'll use those pesticides in areas where there is this a possibility or attack to deal with the fall armyworm. We will not just spray everywhere. Secondly, on the question of what will be the purpose of the visit, I think we will win this through making sure that all maize producers or in other crop producers are taken on board to understand what we are faced with, to prevent the panic that when a person sees a new worm, he, he thinks it is this one. We need to engage them. We need to make sure that other institutions like provincial governments are also part of the program. And I think we'll win when we work together. Already we have shown what other stakeholders are going to work with us and going forward. But as to which areas, I, I'm sure when the team works around that, we'll choose areas that have been already been impacted. It is difficult in crop production to determine the scale of what you will harvest, as that process is, is, is informed by a number of other uh, uh, factors, including the prevalence of rain and all those things. Even if we didn't have this outbreak, no one would be able to guarantee to guarantee that we'll, we will be able to get 80 tons, uh, I mean 80 tons a hectare in Indian, but, but of course, the reason we want to react very quickly is to make sure that we minimize the damage if it is possible. And we believe with the team of people in the department, our scientists, our pest control, and everybody will be able to, to prevent the spread. And in the process also understand, that's why we believe that as a department, we must use this exercise so that when we reach or meet with our neighbors, we are able to forewarn where it has not arrived, but build on that so that we have got the, 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 the required uh, 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 chemicals. But I think we need people to, to notify us immediately they see uh, anything that mean, makes them concerned, so that our teams, as they have been working until early this morning, can be able not only to, 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 to identify so that we understand the biology of this particular pest and be able to, to determine how best to deal with it. Thanks. On the first question, yes, we have outlined that Agri SA, and I hope all farmer organizations that are involved in, in crop production will come on board. The University of Northwest is on, on board. The second point you are raising is quite important of the availability of funds, not only to, 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 to assist people to be mobile and be able to participate and, 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 and to do all that we need to do. Our team is busy. The DDG is, I mean, on, on my right, they are working on what is, is, is prescribed as by the issue of uh, a damage control in the case of uh, 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 disasters like this. So that, and already this afternoon, our CFO has been meeting with his counterparts at, at the Treasury in trying to, to alert as well as to look for any f for funding so that we are able to, 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 to hit this disaster on the net before it spreads any further. Minister Marek and Mark from Jack Rand FM. My colleague Lorenz, you did touch on it, but just um, just explain to us exactly, I mean, we're already struggling with, with maize and everything with the droughts that's been affecting our consumption and the cost and everything so much since last year. What will be the impact of this? I mean, I know you say that you can't determine yet exactly how wide this is spread, how much this will impact everything, but surely to some extent 
we're seeing people either already losing some of their crop because of what had happened. Also, are we seeing, or will we be seeing farmers that it's so far gone that they'll have to burn some of this, or is this something that you can literally just use pesticide for, it'll go away? And then also, what if someone consumes that with the worms in it? I mean, just in case. Thank you very much. I mean, uh, 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 this uh, uh, pest at will attack the stock of the, of the maize. Therefore, if it is on the maize cob, you will be able to see it. And there's no way then you can consume it. But the aim is to hit people. Remember, our, our maize is still uh, 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 has not yet uh, uh, much or, or reached the stage where most of it can have uh, uh, cobs. But it is it's still a challenge because if it attacks the leaves, it will kill the ability of the maize to, to, to give you the best yield. We are concerned. Hence, we believe that an attack on it while it is still in the lava form, it is the best way because by then we can maybe minimize the extent to which it can cause damage. Yes, we are concerned about uh, 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 this impact on farmers. Hence, we believe that we will do everything in our ability to make sure that we minimize the impact. We know this, it happens exactly after the, the drought. But we have been found by, by those who have been studying climate change that after this drought, there may be a number of other d disasters, not, not only limited to, uh, 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 to, to, to the current situation we're in. So as a department, as I'm saying that, our teams have been ready immediately it was detected. And, uh, and, and, uh, and as the new species, I hope that we will be better prepared in future. And, and we hope that our climatic conditions may not give it the space it has been enjoying in countries where it has been in existence. Minister Afana again. Is it possible that uh, this uh, pest can be imported? Uh, by say importing ma maize from from one of the countries affected, and if so, are you doing any study around the countries that have been affected that you maybe L have been dealing with? L what let precautionary measures are you taking? Let me allow scientists to deal with that, <laughs> but because in this in the understanding we are having is that this uh, 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 pest uh, undergoes all the phases of of, of metamorphosis from egg to lava to pap papapi and to moths. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is the stage it, it, it reaches where it can fly. Well, we, we believe that it could have been driven by winds to reach our areas. There is no scientific proof, and I'm sure the, the, the scientists will, 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 will speak on that, that you can transport it by maize. It is more on the basis of the fact that it is it, it it is spread by wind by by by, by 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 the winds. But I will give the professor to okay. to give a, a scientific reply. I was just trying. Okay, thank you, Minister. Uh, now this is a migratory moth species. So it, it it's it's well known that it in uh, its homeland it flies many hundreds of kilometers on the winds. Um, so it's we. Uh, picked it up also in pheromone traps here. That's that's how we first detected that there was something going on. Um, in maize in a silo, it won't be transported. There's a possibility in green mealies if those are moved around, but that will be a tiny number of larvae compared to the mass millions of moths just flying across the whole of southern Africa. So at the moment, we're considering it as a obviously a quarantine pest but uh, but it, it's a, it's a obviously it's a migratory pest that's uh, we're vulnerable to migrations of this good afternoon minister and to the panel this, this question is either to the minister or, or uh, professor price mm. uh, minister you say in the statement that mi migratory pests threaten food, food security now i apologize if this has been answered in another way but what is, or how under threat is South Africa's food security? Because that's what the people who listen to the news would, will want to hear. You know, how much of a threat are we under here? And are you quite confident that we'll manage to get this in, in, in control? Thank you. Thanks. As we have said, we, in doing our research, what the aim was to detect what kind of pest are we dealing with. We have passed that now because we have identified the pest to be the fall army worm. 
through the, the, the report from our, our pest control area, we understand now that at our disposal, we do have uh, chemicals or pesticides that can be utilized to deal with this one, as long as we can make sure that farmers follow the, the, the instructions that, that, that are on those. And our hope is that we will still continue to get the support of every farmer, every, uh, I mean, and, and, and all the organizations who are working with. And we believe that once we, we begin then to work on, 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 on making sure therefore that we control is spread by, by, by sprays or whatever form we use, we will be able then to, 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 to deal with it. I would say to South Africa, we, we, I believe that we have got the ability to contain it if, 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 if the results of the work we are doing are positive. Already we know which areas to target. That has been work that has been done by, by, by our teams. Now when we have to come up with measures to control, we know what to do. And I believe that we will be able to, to deal with it. But to me, the challenge is not necessarily that. The challenge is to make sure that people are educated. People know that they don't need to panic because there have been this. Because the reason we are here is to give them information such that they know what we are dealing with. Do we have any questions from Cape Town? There, there are no questions in Cape Town in this round. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That's all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. 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 Uh, we are constantly monitoring the situation, so we can have weekly reports on where and, and how far we have proceeded with the survey as well as the determination of, of, of damage in specific areas. Because we get reports um, on, a, on a regular basis, and we also have teams out on a regular basis. Can you say that regular basis? Is it a month? No, no, weekly. Yeah. Thank you. We have a chill in Cape Town. Can we ask? Okay. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Um, just want to ask, um, were there any efforts to engage with um, affected countries um, in Southern Africa or in West Africa um, prior to the army worm arriving in South Africa? And what, what, what do those efforts consist of in terms of um, engaging with them and protecting what they fit or, imp or how could you get here? Um, could so go and just independently do a session? Um, okay, that's no. all for now in Cape Town. Okay. okay. Right. Now we, we have been communicating with our counterparts um, on all the best in the region. The problem with with this one is since December to now, we really haven't had much of a communication opportunity in terms of, of official notifications. Um, we, we we just uh, notified or we notified our ID on Friday, and um, so we, the communication will follow as we said in the press statement as well. So that will that will continue from this week onwards. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's it. That is it. Thank you very much. I was in Kibili then. I was in the class. I was in Kibili. I'm going to finish with you. I'm going to finish with you. I'll cut you through. Just take it in briefing. No fight. In the next. No fight. I'll just take it in briefing. Thank you. Can we? Minister, how are you? I can't complain. It never rains but pours. <laughs> from, from drought to this, <laughs> they remove the unwanted stuff here. <laughs> Let me see if I can sit up. It's not a problem. It's a problem. It's a long time, yes. 
Come on, go be what? What are you? Follow. 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 